had a cryptic message from Bev on News and Sport. Bev, when you tell me that you've passed first time with your third instructor, is this a maths dilemma? Did you pa- did you need get three instructors to make you pass your driving test? Well, it's true that I had three instructors, but that does not necessarily mean I had three tests. That's all I'll say on that matter. OK, hang on. So, three instructors. This is like a maths quiz. You had three instructors, but that doesn't mean that you passed the first time. So, did you, hang on. So, did that mean you had three tests? Well... There may have been slightly more than three tests, <gasps> but, but I did pass first time with my third instructor, and she encouraged me to say that. She said, look, you can always say you pass first time with Julie. Nobody needs to know what the real number is. So I'm sticking with that. Does anybody have any truth serum? Because I feel like I need to get the rest of this story out. Glenn, how did you get on with your driving test? For some reason, I passed my first time, <laughs> genuinely. And I was terrible. I stalled for car. I was really nervous. Um, the driving examiner said, on any other day you would have failed this test, but because of a traffic conditions, what you did there was perfectly safe. <laughs> so... That's a f- f- damning with faint praise. So I passed second time. The first time I knew I'd passed within about, I'd failed within about five minutes when she had to tell me to stop indicating. And the minute they intervene, I was so nervous. But I, it, doesn't su- it doesn't surprise me that you're a good driver. Bev, to be honest, I'm surprised by your terrible implications because you're someone who I think is probably a really good, safe driver. Uh, well, I am these days, yes. Like, I'll say that much. But uh, just, just because I might be um, academic, it doesn't mean I'm very practical. So, so there we go. Oh, Things balance out, don't they? Uh, Bev, thank you. I think I'm going to use that excuse as well. I'm amazed that you're calling me a good driver, Louise. Well, I, but I think you're a very practical person and you're a very calm person and you can run a breakfast show six days a week, so I suspect it's a bit like, you know, radio, driving a radio desk and driving a car are very similar. No, I think it's what I had was the same as Trish's second test, where Trish said, I was worried about something else, so I passed. I think the moment I stalled for car yeah. on my test, I thought that's an immediate fail. I failed it. So you just, just relaxed on. and carried on thinking, oh, I failed this now, I'll just carry on. I remember my driving in uh, test lady once came, I remembered her. Oh, I don't know if I should say this. I'll be very vague. She came into a shop where I then worked as a Saturday girl and she tried to return a jumper with no receipt. <laughs> and I got a real kick out of the fact, saying, I'm so sorry, you can't return that, you don't have a receipt. Did she recognise you? Of course she didn't. She was really smug as well. I was like, it was, it was a brilliant case of revenge to dish best served cold. Hmm. I know, I know, I know she deserved to fail me, but that doesn't mean that I did not get a lot of enjoyment from telling her that she could not return a jumper without a receipt. I'm seeing you in a new light this morning, <laughs> Louise. Oh, no, don't. Don't go. Uh, 08,000, 85, 95, 96 is the number. We would love to hear your driving test stories. Are you a driving instructor? Because I bet you've got some quality stories. Uh, you can text us, 81333. You can WhatsApp, 08,000, 321333. Make sure you start your messages with Cam. Or just give us a call. 08,000 85 95 96 of course if it's safe and legal we're talking about driving make sure you follow the rules